Welcome back everyone and I'd like to start the video by pointing out that we're celebrating the 10th year anniversary of the Series F of the fund. Over the last 10 years, the annual total return was 4.59%, outperforming the benchmark by 147 basis points while maintaining a lower risk profile. This resulted in a sharp ratio almost double that of the benchmark. We're extremely proud of that achievement and we're looking forward to manage the fund for the next 10 years. Since the beginning of 2018, the five-year government of Canada rate is up 15 basis points to 2%, which is a very healthy level given that most resets will reset at a higher coupon than currently offered. Credit spreads remain flat, the demand was sustained, and the supply of net new issuance was relatively muted at only $2.8 billion. Volatility was higher than in 2017, but still relatively low. These drivers are all supportive of the asset class. And in this context, the fund returned 72 basis points, which is slightly above the benchmark, even though we saw some credit bumps with Enbridge and Element Fleet, two of the fund's overweight positions. While all drivers of the preferred shares market that we monitor are neutral or positive, looking forward to the next 12 months, I think it's reasonable to expect that the returns of this asset class will be lower than during the last 12 months, simply because a bigger proportion of the market now trades at or above par value, meaning that there is less upside potential than there would have been one year ago. There are also a number of risks lingering on the horizon, international trade tensions, NAFTA renegotiations, increasing interest rates with an extremely levered Canadian consumer, and a frothy but slowing real estate market. Combined together, if all these risks materialize, they could have an adverse impact on Canadian GDP growth, and in turn hurt investor sentiment towards the market. While the macroeconomic picture in Canada is good right now, I believe that it is time to switch our mentality when looking at preferred shares from one of capital appreciation to one of capital preservation, and invest specifically for the dividend income. It is with that in mind that we started shifting the portfolio to a more defensive mix in the last six months while enhancing the yield and we will continue to do so for the foreseeable future. As usual, we will keep our balanced approach and maintain our investment philosophy that have served us so well during the last 10 years. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.